My name is Preston Hill. I'm the Dining Services Director here at St. Anne's Mead for the Unidine Corporation. And here we have our herb garden, and garden, and we're going to talk to Joe Bassett, which is one of our residents. He's going to explain it for us. Preston and I, this spring, uh, I talked to him about uh, having some place on our patio that uh, we could have an herb garden. So, now, these are all uh, culinary herbs that can be used in your kitchen. So I just want to introduce you to the plants we have in these two roll-around trays. There are lavender, sweet basil, spearmint, tarragon, oregano, chives, savory, dill, marjoram, thyme, sage, rosemary, parsley. So, as you can see from springtime of about uh, March, early April, what's happened? Towards the end of June, we have this growing uh, array of uh, culinary herbs that uh, I've encouraged uh, kitchen staff to come out and clip and use in the preparation of any of the dishes. Today what we're going to do is we're going to display some of the herbs in our herb garden into uh, some of the dishes that we cook in the kitchen today. Here at St. Anne's we use herbs to substitute for sodium for, and other seasonings which actually still gives our dishes a lot of flavor. All right. First we're going to start with a caprese salad which has uh, cherry tomatoes and fresh mozzarella um, which we'll be adding some oil and some garlic and some fresh basil. Then we're going to go to our fresh gazpacho, which has an array of vegetables with some seasonings and some oils. And then we're going to end off with our sun tea, which is made with our fresh lavender and orange. Alrighty, we're going to start with our uh, caprese, which is uh, just some, some grape tomatoes and some fresh mozzarella. And what we're going to do is, they're already been chopped, a nice large dice. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add a little salt and pepper. some fresh garlic, some basil, it's a real simple salad, drizzle a little oil, a little red onion for some color, We're going to place it, place it on a plate. Just like that. And then we're going to garnish it with a little chiffon out of basil over the top. And then what we did was we took some balsamic vinegar and we reduced it down to a syrup consist consistency. And we're just going to drizzle it right over the salad for some garnish and a little flavor. And there you have it. All righty, next what we're going to do is we're going to start with our gazpacho. And okay, what we have here is uh, some diced jalapeno, some uh, whole clove of garlic. We have some chiffonade of basil, some red onion some cucumber, some diced tomato, and diced red pepper with an array of um, sauces and seasonings to go with it. All right, well, what we're going to do here is we're going to start by, we're going to dice just to show what the seeded cucumber looks like. And then we'll still use that in our garnish. And we're going to use half of it.
And that is how you see a cucumber. Now let's go to our gazpacho. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to add our ingredients. Let's start with the tomato. Some cucumber. The jalapeno you only need a couple pinches because it's just to give it a little flavor and a little heat. Then we go to our red pepper. Our red onion for flavor. Very colorful dish. A couple cloves of garlic. Some cumin, pinch of sugar, salt and pepper to season, touch of canola oil, some red wine vinegar, a little Worcestershire. and some zest and juice of one lime. And what we're going to do is, this is going to get a little noisy, but we're going to start our Also, what we're going to do is we're going to finish that off to thicken the soup up a little bit. We're going to add a few, a few croutons. There you go. There's a nice gazpacho. Then we're going to take our cucumbers and we're going to make a nice little relish to go with it. We're going to add some of the tomatoes, some of the basil, a little garlic, some of the red pepper, a little heat, some of the oil. Touch of salt and pepper. We're going to toss that up. Is we're going to put it right over the, the dish for garnish. Then what we have here is a little lime creme fraiche that has a little uh, lime juice, a little cilantro, and a little tequila for some kick. And then we're going to take it and just put it over like that. And there you go, garden gazpacho. And last but not least, uh, who couldn't use some refreshments? Um, right here we have a uh, sweet tea that's been brewing all day, um, made with a simple syrup, and has been infused with uh, lavender and some orange peels. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pour it, not too hard. <laughs> 